everybody and welcome back to another episode of Full Metal Geek. I'm your host for today, Robert Parkmer. Parkmer? Ooh, oof. That's the kind of stream it's going to be today. And I'm not doing that take. We're leaving that one right in. Uh, with me in the co-hosting seat is the one and only best host in the community, Brooklyn Bale. Brooklyn, how are you doing this evening? Welcome to another episode of Take Night with Late. Ah, see, see, it happens, sure. it happens to the best of us, Robert. Uh, mm -hmm. But it's always great to be here in another Full Metal Geek match. Uh, Brother Tim versus uh, the the King, Caleb Coho. Always, uh, always curious to see how, how these guys do it up. Yeah, absolutely. We are in the second round of the Full Metal Geek tournament that's going to send off this season of Full Metal Geek. Uh, both of these guys won their first round matchups pretty definitively. Uh, Coho, you know, a little bit close, uh, but they both sneak through. These two have never played in Full Metal Geek before, so I'm excited to see how they match up right now. Let's hear the pre-match thoughts first from Tim McCollar, brother Tim. How are you feeling today going up against the one and only Caleb the King, Coho? I don't give a shit. Um, listen, I said it from the beginning. I'll say it again. Um, I am here to have fun um, over at Multiplex Fandom. That's where I shine. That's where I put my energy into. Uh, so here, I'm just having fun, just going through the motions, seeing what I can do. Um, and if I have to play Caleb Goho, then great. I'm sure he's going to say some dickish king stuff about me. That's fine and dandy. I don't really care. Caleb's a friend. It'll be fun to play him in a real format that's not just like a dark match or something so uh this will be fun absolutely tim four and one coming into this match uh a big record uh that one loss coming only in a multi-man format versus caleb coho coming to this match four and four a 500 player how are you feeling caleb about making a run in this tournament i i love that you'll point out tim's one loss is a multi-man but three of my lot four losses are also multi-man so let's let's put the propaganda aside there robert spin master over there uh look i've said it since day one i'm coming for your title because you have mine I'm coming to get the geek title because you have the fandom title. And look, if I gotta beat Tim Bracala here to do it, that's what I'm gonna do. Tim, you don't have you don't have your DreamWorks, your Disney's, your Pixar's, all of your Jurassic Parks. None of the fandom categories are here to save you. You're gonna have to rely on geek, and the geek side is where I've been really, 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 really shining lately. So me versus you, it could go any way, but um, I'm coming for your belt, Robert. All right, so uh, good luck with that, but we will go right into this match first with round one. I'm going to try to rapid speed through these rules. Here we go. You don't need to do 10 questions, 10 predetermined geek categories, correct answers worth one point. Write them down and reveal it at the same time, about 15 seconds to answer. Three repeats and challenges, so of course, the match. If you'll get all 10 right, you will get a bonus question worth an additional one point if you get that correct. I messed up once in there. Oh, you got to figure, gotta figure out where to breathe. And, yeah, I screwed up once in there. Once you figure out where to breathe, it's, you're, you're, you're golden. Mm -hmm. But if you all get the idea, it's the same format uh, for round one as pretty much every other league. So we'll hop right into it, and I will give you folks your first question in round one, which comes in the category of Wizarding World. What type of magical creature gave a feather to be used in the core of Harry's wand? I would uh, use a wand that has a Brooklyn feather in it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, I love being compared to a big bird. Four, three, two, one. Uh, pens down. Coming to Tim first. Ah, sorry. I'm moving my computer. Uh, Phoenix. And Caleb? Phoenix. Both correct. Nice job. Uh, and Brooklyn will take it away. All right. Question number two, gentlemen, comes in the category of Worlds of DC. <laughs> Who plays Eric Ludendorff in Wonder Woman? Ludendorff sounding very similar to Waldorf, uh, a salad containing uh, Greek yogurt, apples, and celery. Five, and four, raisins. Three. Repeat the question. Repeat okay. the question. All right. I'm going to use this first repeat. Question number two in the category of Worlds of DC. Who plays Eric Ludendorff in Wonder Woman? I hope I have the right character here. <laughs> Would uh, pour one out for you if you didn't. Waldorf, yeah. also a partner of Statler. Five. Yes. Four, Fuck yes. Three, two, That's a one. Thing, Caleb. <laughs> and down. Uh, we are going to, uh, what is that? Caleb first? Sure. Uh, Danny Houston. And Tim? Danny Houston. Correct. Nice job, guys. I repeat helping Tim there. Your next question is in the category of Star Trek. 
What actor delivers the boldly go speech at the end of Wrath of Khan? When you say boldly go, you definitely mean boldly going to the toilets? Because, you know, boldly yeah. Boldly going to the toilets. Yes. I love that we have de, uh, devalued the humor down to pot of humor. Five. Four. Usually I can't do that when I'm with RJ because he's above it. Two. Repeat the question. I'm an idiot. <laughs> So I'm using his secondary repeat already. Your question again in the category of Star Trek. What actor delivers the boldly go speech at the end of Wrath of Khan? This is why I hate myself. Don't say that. Well, he knows the I I, I can't remember his name. Five. I'm an idiot. I don't know why I can't remember Spock's Three. fucking name. Repeat the question. Repeat the question. Kill just, just, just use a repeat. So your question again. All right. Star Trek. What actor delivers the boldly go speech at the end of Wrath? Oh, <laughs> hey, I got it. This, I, might, be, this <laughs> might be the <laughs> first time. Because you said that, I would have gotten it wrong. Caleb had the wrong answer written I down. The <laughs> I thought you had it because you were sitting there all day. Five, four, <laughs> three. So one yeah, so many repeats have been burned. Uh, Tim, Tim, what's your answer? Leonard Nimoy. <laughs> Caleb, what did you have? I had Spock. I didn't know he asked for actor. I just they blipped out in my head. Oh god. Okay, well we're tied up three to three. Uh, both <laughs> players pitching a perfect game. Question number four comes in the worst category in Full Metal Geek, and that is the category of Star Wars. Mm. Who stuns Poe? to stop his mutiny in The Last Jedi. Not to be confused with great horror writer Edgar Allan Poe. No, they're the same. They're, they're the same. Oh, they are? It's fan oh. universe, yeah. I don't know if you read the novelization of Last Jedi, but five. Never Four, more. Three, <laughs> two, I haven't. One, uh, pens down, and coho. To me, she's royalty, General Leia. Cute. And Tim? Leia. Both correct. All right, your next one's in the category of Marvel. Uh, which Marvel film features the following characters? Nadia, Danny, Methodius, Kerrigan, and Moreau. I believe when you announced the category, you put the uh, emphasis on the wrong syllable. Syllable. Yes, I did, indeed. Sounds like you were speaking Mukdown French, where je commence la conversation en français and then end it in what you call English. Three. 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 Caleb's going to use his second repeat as well. It's an unprecedented thing. People using lots of repeats. Your next one, or your question. In Marvel, which Marvel film features the following characters? Nadia, Danny, Methodius, Kerrigan, and Moreau. Caleb thinking his board will give him knowledge by pressing it closer to his head. Five, four, three. That's what she said. One, pens down, pens down, Caleb Coho. Uh, and we are coming to Tim first. Tim. Uh, shot in the dark, Men in Black. Uh, that is incorrect. Caleb? I tried to scribble down Men in Black International. Also incorrect. We are looking for Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. Ah. All right, question number six comes in the category of heroes forward slash, or sorry, backslash villains. What is the nickname of the villain played by Lena Hetty in Dread? Did I did I pronounce that correctly, Lena? Yeah, I think it's Hetty. Some people say Hedy, but I think it's Hetty. Oof, that's uh, I believe when they say shots fired. Yeah, five, four, three, two, one. Hands down. Uh, that was Caleb for me first. Judge Imperius. I have no clue. That is incorrect. Tim? It's a drug lady. Ah, closer. Uh, we were looking for a mama. Ah. Mama. Ooh. And your next I, I, went, I went mama, we all go to hell. That's, how, that's our difference there. Uh, your next one's in the category of DC. In The Return of Swamp Thing, Abigail Arcane works in a store that sells what? Something you never see in, uh, in DC comics is uh, alliterating names. A very, very Marvel esque trend. Yes, indeed. That's true. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Uh, I asked that one, so Tim would do you first. Uh, I said beds, mattresses. 
That is incorrect, uh, Caleb. I said cosmetics. Thinking too hard. We're looking for plants. Ah, of plants. course. Seen it once. <laughs> Question number eight, gentlemen, comes in the category of quotes. What MCU villain said the following? I have experience and patience. A man can do anything if he has those. I, I, I argue that you need a little bit more than experience and patience to do anything. <laughs> to do any, experience gets you pretty far. Uh, I would say I would say a heartbeat, uh, and, you know, legs and a brain. So he's going literal on us. One yeah. pens down. Uh, Caleb. Abomination. That is incorrect, Tim. Aldridge Killian. Mm, that is also incorrect. We're looking for Zemo. Zemo, uh -huh. where he tortures the not or the. Uh, yeah. The yeah. Yeah, sounded like terminology. All right, two more for you. We started hot, Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> Currently tied four to four. Two more questions. In the post credit scene of Spider-Man Homecoming, Captain America talks about what valuable trait for students and soldiers? It's written here as soldiers and students. So you Well, I already had shifted away from that tab, so I just made up one. Ah. Five, four... Three, two, one. Hands down. Tim? Patience. That is correct. And Caleb? Patience. Nice job, guys. Tied up What's the five. name of the character in Catwoman? Catwoman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. And your final question uh, in round number one comes from the category of a Middle Earth. Middle Earth. There you go, Tim. What is the common tongue name for the Aphelis plant that Sam retrieves to help Frodo's stab wound in oh. Fellowship of the Ring. I don't I don't know. Know. But you were very close. Okay. You were very, very close. I actually knew this question. Did you? Yeah. I, so I, can, I can picture the scene. I just can't. I don't... Mm. In five, four, three, two, one. Hands down. Uh, Caleb? Uh, I don't even know if this is a thing in Middle Earth. Gillyweed. Uh, that is not a thing in Middle Earth. Harry Potter, is it? Uh, Tim? I put Rosebud. <laughs> uh, we're looking for King's Foil. King's Foil. Uh, yeah. Yep. All right. So we are actually tied going into round two, which works like this. Uh, I'm going to bring up a wheel. It's going to have eight categories plus heroes and villains pick, which is a spinner's and opponent's choice. There's nobody in the lead, so the higher-ranked player, in this case Tim, will get to choose after I read the categories if he would like to spin first or second. Once that decision is made, the person up at this wheel is going to have to give it a spin. Uh, if they don't like the category they spun the first time, they can choose to spin again, but they have to stick with the second option if they do choose to respin. Then you're going to get five questions worth two points apiece. You can check to multiple choice if you don't know the answer. Uh, but I completely, uh, we didn't check the multiple choice in the answer, but it devalues the question to being only worth one point. And of course there is ceiling in this round. So, uh, I'm going to bring in Tim's manager, Mr. Cody Newberry. Oh, oh Cody made it. God. Yeah. Cody made I, I, it. Sorry. I was practicing the Brooklyn and Caleb thing, not showing up for half a season then ah. act like a manager. Oh. So, uh, I figured I didn't really need to be here. So here we go. All Here's right. Up. So we're tied five to five. I'm throwing shit around and I'm going to bring up the wheel for this round. I love your head. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Tim had to use three repeats total. I let him know it's fucking me. All right. So, uh, this wheel is sponsored by Nissan. Drive with greater confidence. And your questions. <laughs> or your questions? I'm the worst today. Your uh, well, categories. I messed up a lot hosting today. Your categories are Middle Earth, Directors and Composers, DC, Heroes and Villains, Star Trek, Quotes, Wizarding World, and the MCU. So based on that, Tim and Cody, would you like to go first or second? I think there's more for me on there, so I think yep. we have him go first. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Whatever's left, I'm fine with you. Yep. All right, so Caleb, right. we're gonna uh, have you spin first. Your first spin is in, and it lands on Heroes Pick. Right, oh, sick! Pick. I'll take your interesting composers then. All right, uh, Caleb is gonna take directors, composers, and uh, Sam Data Scum, as he is Data Scum, uh, Brooklyn. Take it away, my friend. Absolutely. Your first question, Mr. Goho, and directors slash composers. What Marvel film was directed by Rob Bowman? Um, Electra. Correct. What? 
Who composed the original score for Solo, a Star Wars story? That would be John Powell. Mark Dupuis. Who directed 1978's Lord of the Rings? Ralph Bakshi. Mark Dupuis. Which DC sequel was directed by Sidney J. Furry? Superman for the Quest for Peace. That is correct for two points. Your final question in director slash composers. Who composed the scores for 300, Watchmen, and Guardians of the Galaxy? Tyler Bates. This is correct for two points. Caleb uh, getting out the old broom there for uh, for the old fashion sweep. Yeah, absolutely. 10 to 10 brings his total up to 15 points. Job, you know, this Thank is you. probably a strategy on the side of the fellowship to get that one category off the wheel so now they can uh, move into sweep whichever they like here yeah. right now. You sure, know, to have to watch a fucking movie and Caleb can sweep it. There we go. Here we <laughs> He hasn't seen half the movies he answered for, so this is going to be fun. All right. Uh, so, Tim, your spin then is in. Give me villains pick! And it lands on. Heroes and villains. Well, fuck that. Yeah, I would say fuck that too. Yeah. Okay. Village pick. Village Give pick. You ever seen the spirit? It will be in there. And I villains pick. Well, oh, fuck. That. <laughs> <laughs> what, were, what are my options on the wheel again? Uh, Fucking well, yeah. Sponsored by Nissan. Your categories are middle uh, Earth, composers, DC, heroes and villains, Star Trek, quotes, Wizarding World, and MC. Okay, so he, you let it, he let you he drove you around in Madison. You <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with. Could have left quotes. you dead outside Whole Foods. Quotes. I heard oh. quotes. <laughs> quotes. Ah, a category I swept the last time I played in Full Metal Geek. Uh, I know I hosted it. Maybe Caleb should have watched that match. That was I hosted that match. Recording. He did host that match. I hosted that match. This okay, is so. this is a move, sir. Uh, don't think it is. It is. Okay. Nah, it'll be fine. I am hoping that it's just a lot of quotes that he doesn't know. Okay. <laughs> well, that is the hope. You hope your opponent does not know the questions. All right. Tim, your category, or your questions of quotes. Yeah. In which DC film will you hear the quote, this is why Superman works alone? Batman and Robin. That is correct for two points. Your next one. What is the first word Diana uses to describe the city of London in Water Wonder Woman? Uh, multiple choice. Your options are A, smelly, B, repulsive, C, hideous, or D, quaint. Can you repeat the options? Sure. Your options are A, smelly, B, repulsive, C, hideous, or D, quaint. Hideous? That is correct for one point. Uh, your next one. Who says the classic bad feeling about this line in The Phantom Menace? Obi-Wan Kenobi. That is correct for two points. Uh, two more here. Which Star Trek film has the following quote? It's too easy to turn a blind eye to the suffering of a people you don't know. I think I know it, but let's go to multiple choice. Okay, your options are A, Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country, B, Star Trek First Contact, C, Star Trek Beyond, or D, Star Trek Insurrection. I'm going to go with Insurrection. That is correct for one point. Should have trusted and my... Your, your final question, what MCU character said, whatever nightmares the future holds are dreams compared to what's behind me? Gamora. That is correct for another two points. At the end of that round, uh, another sweep as far as accuracy is concerned. Accuracy is concerned. Uh, going to be two points behind Caleb, so that's going to be thirteen to fifteen. Uh, both of these players proving why they have made it to round two, both sweeping round two. 
Uh, and we're going to the third round, which works like this. I'm going to bring up another wheel, this one with only six randomized categories on it. Uh, you're going to get a two, three, and five pointer. The categories from which these questions will come will be determined by that wheel spin. You get one respin to use throughout the entirety of round three, so make sure you use it wisely. Uh, and of course, you can have the same category being used multiple times as long as it's for different question point values. So uh, the person behind will have to answer until they take the lead. So Tim, you, we are going to come to you first for your two-point spin. Yeah. And your categories on this wheel... Good job. ...are... Uh, had to see the movie by, ...sponsored by Ruggable. Uh, your categories are MCU, Mixed Bag, Marvel, Worlds of DC, Star Wars, and Middle Earth. That's a good that's wheel a, for us. That's a wheel! That's and, a good wheel for us. All right. So, Tim, your two-point spin. Yeah. And it lands on Worlds of DC. Because That's we only have point. one respin, Cody, I think we have yeah. to take it. There. You gotta yeah. take it. Just take yeah. it. It should be. It should be easy enough. Hopefully. Uh, I did Tim for round two. Brooklyn, will you give Tim his questions for round three? Absolutely. Uh, your two point question in the category of Worlds of DC, Mister McCall. Yeah. While in Italy, in Aquaman, what liquid does Mera manipulate to defeat her attackers? Wine. Correct for two points. That is correct for two points. Currently tied. With Caleb, 15 to 15, so we're going to bring up that. So I, I have to play until I... Yeah, you play until you take the lead, so you, we're okay. going to stick with you. Okay. If you answer this next one, then we'll throw it back to Caleb. Okay. All right, your three-point spin is in. And it's Middle Earth. Yeah, let's take that. Okay. Uh, yep. All right. Three pointer in a category of Middle Earth. What two words does Aragon say before charging at the armies of Mordor outside the Black Gate in Return of the King? For Frodo. That is correct. <laughs> that is correct for three points and the lead. Also, I didn't know Aragon was in that. <laughs> Aragorn, but you're. That's all right. That's all right. Most people make that mistake. So you're. No, I, you're good. You're up now uh, 18 to Caleb's 15, if I have my scores correct. Uh, so Caleb, we're going to bring in your manager. You're not here. Uh, I so am my own manager. <laughs> um, so we're going to bring up the wheel for Caleb's two points. I need there. not a manager. Because right. Caleb's focused on himself. <laughs> Retweet. All right, Caleb, your two-point spin is in, and Worlds of DC is off the table for this particular question. It lands on MCU. Cool. Keep it. Let's do it. Okay, and I will give you your two-point question in the category of MCU. Besides Tony, what other Avenger appears in the post credit scene of Iron Man 3? Uh, Bruce Banner, the Hulk. That is correct for two points, up to 17 now. Hey, Cody. Can I ask my manager a question? Sure. sure. Let me bring him in. Thank you. <laughs> So, um, his answer given was Bruce Banner, the Hulk. The Hulk is not in that scene, and the Hulk and Bruce Banner are two different people. Can we challenge that? Um, I would be okay with challenging, but I know the host, and I know I will not win this challenge. But if you want to throw it out there, you I mean, can, because you're not going to waste it. Yeah. But, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and throw it out there, because the uh, that, that answer given was incorrect. It was correct. I said Bruce. Okay, Banner. okay. I'm well, sorry, I'm not, I'm not talking to you. All right, okay. we're going to cut. We'll see if that comes out. So uh, we are back from <laughs> the challenge, and uh, we have uh, deliberated and have ruled that Caleb's answer given was Bruce Banner, the Hulk, and we have ruled that that is a correct answer uh, to the question asked, because we asked which Avenger. We didn't clarify if we needed the human name uh, or the superhero name. So uh, based on that, I do think it was a just challenge, but we are going to rule that the ruling stands. Caleb does have that correct, and we will still stick with Caleb. He's still down one point, so we still have to stick with Caleb for his three-pointer. All right, Caleb, your three-point spin is in. And uh, there's a free reason because Tim already answered the three-pointer in Middle Earth. That's I demand all. a recount. And it's still Middle Earth. That's unfortunate. I demand a recount. <laughs> and it is now Star Wars. Cool. Can you stick with that? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. 
I don't. When people say cool or fine, like I need to know. I will stick with this. I will. Okay. I I will <laughs> stick with this. I sign it in legal binding contract. Well, that's not smart. All right, <laughs> our three pointer in Star Wars. Who cleans up R two D two after he helps the heroes escape Naboo on the way to Tatooine in Phantom Menace? Bad man. That is correct for three points. Okay, so we are now going to go back to Tim, currently down two points. Yeah. Uh, Tim to hit his five, to send it back to Caleb for his five. This is a fence. All right. That is good job, Caleb. Caleb. Oh, I'm not sure. This is probably a good game, so yeah, I'm happy with whatever happens. Okay. He says that, but you know that if he loses, he'll cry into his crown later. <laughs> Uh, Tim, your five point spin is in. Oh, I didn't bring Code D back in. My bad. I'm sorry. Code D? Is that the shit? <laughs> it landed on MCU. Let me, uh, real quick, uh, behind the scenes. There we if go. If you're ever going to have a shot of hitting a five pointer, it's going to be in the fucking yeah. MCU. So no, I, I agree. Yep. And he can't answer it. So. Well, yeah, it takes it away from him, too. Yeah, if I get it right. Yep. 100%. Okay. So we will keep that. Robert. Right. Yeah. Cool. Bye. Thank you. Thank cool. you. I want a blood oath. I want a blood oath. All right. So Brooklyn. All right. See you later, Cody. All right. Five pointer in the MCU. All right. Your five pointer in the MCU is as follows. I still have one repeat, right? Yes, you do. Okay. In Avengers: Age of Ultron, mm -hmm. what was the name of the group of Iron Man droids used to protect civilians when the Avengers did battle? The Iron Legion. Cool. Mm -hmm. Correct for five points. Correct for five points. It was just we're up to 23 to Caleb's 20. Caleb only has his five-pointer left, so we are going to throw it back to Caleb for his five-pointer. If he hits it, he wins the game and moves on to round three of the tournament. If he misses, Tim will do that thing that I just said. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Caleb, your five points, Venison, sponsored by Ruggable. Again, thanks, Ruggable. And it lands on Worlds of DC. I'm going to spin again. Attempt fate, use your respin. And it lands on MCU, which we just gave Tim that five pointer. Cool. And it lands on Star Wars. Oh. All right. Your five pointer in Star Wars. What is the last spoken line of The Force Awakens? Um, five, four, three. Repeat the question. Okay, that's your final repeat. What is the last spoken line of The Force Awakens? An answer in five, four, three. She is our last hope. May the force be with you. And your winner. Moving on to the semifinals, Tim Burkala. Oh, boy. Um, wow. That is a match that just went down. That was incredibly tight. Uh, we're going to kick these boys out and get some thoughts first from our uh, unfortunate loser, Caleb Coho. You had a full sweep, full 10 of 10 points in round two. So that's pretty impressive. Yeah. Stayed tight with him, tied at the end of round one. But just that one little be in a match this close, that one yeah. little clip at the end of round three. Do, in hindsight, do you wish you would have kept Olds of DC? Maybe. Depends on what the question was. I don't know. Um, maybe Worlds of DC can get super deep, and I've seen all those movies, but that doesn't mean I'm confident in all those movies. Uh, same when it comes to Star Wars, but I was like, I, when I got Star Wars, I was opening, uh, I was like, okay, it'll be like a, a battle of something question, a this random character question or something, but last line was like, dick punch. I'm like, oh, never mind, all right, that's fine. Um, but yeah, no, Tim played the better game. 
Um, we kept it close. Uh, but hey, good game. I had fun. And um, I'll be back. I'll be back. Absolutely. And we know that you will stop at nothing to continue to make runs in full middle. You can be honest with me. Did you throw the match just to screw off RJ's predictions, though? Uh, Lloyd the Moose. <laughs> That is the closest to uh, plead the fifth as possible. But, uh, Caleb, I know we will absolutely see you back, uh, probably, to be honest, in the season opener of next season. So we'll see you back soon enough uh, because you're a very good geek player and you've proven that. Uh, and now we'll go over to uh, the man who I think is more shocked than anybody, uh, Tim Burkala. <laughs> um, how do you feel about how you played today? That Those quotes, man, five for five, that's – yeah, and good. And then perfect uh, after seeing that last round as well, man. Yes, um, I said it at the beginning, and Cody wasn't here for it, so I'm gonna repeat it. Um, I'm here to have fun. That was fun. So that's I got what I wanted out of that. Um, no matter how much I go into a match, those things, I'm just here to have fun. I always get really competitive and really heated, and I know if I would have lost, I would have been pissed. Probably just like Caleb's pissed, but that's okay. Uh, I love you, Caleb. You played a good game. I thought I was gonna lose. I thought he was fucking with us, Cody, at the end there. I thought he knew the answer because, like, I I just – I thought that I was- knew that answer, yeah. so I thought the yeah. same thing. I was like, yeah. of course he was, you right? So yeah. I found it very interesting. I still think he made a crucial mistake in the round two. I think giving you quotes because how quotes work, it narrows down at least the category. Heroes and villains could have been anything. We spun away from it for a reason, and he didn't give it to us. So yeah. – uh, again, I think you guys both played an amazing match. This sucks that this had to happen this, like, into the tournament. Like, it could have been the ending. But it's how it sh- shook out, and I think you guys did an amazing – I think you both played an amazing game. Uh, he needs a manager because he sucks. Uh, but, uh, uh, Tim, I'm happy for you. And I, I don't know who you're playing next, but maybe uh, I'll show up one time. Uh, oh. that, this is actually the first match of round two that's going to go up. Uh, but I can tell you, so I don't actually know. We haven't played the match that uh, the, who actually determines your play next, but you will play in the semifinals. You will play the winner of Dominic Rizzi and Ed Sale. Come on, Ed Sale, please. Yeah, yeah. Just give us Ed, because I just don't like Dom. Like, I don't think Ed will be Dom. I don't see Caleb Coho again if Dom yeah. wins. That's fine. Yeah, that's true. But I like, I like Caleb more. I'd rather Ed Sale because... Ed Sale will be an easier opponent um, yeah. overall. Um, and well, yeah, Ed, Ed would be easier because, you know, I think he only knows about Harry Potter stuff. And, and Middle Earth. And Those Middle Earth, Earth, sure, yeah, that's it. And because – but anything that takes place in the United States, I don't think he knows Not anything shot. about. And Not a shot. Also, yeah, like, a Burkala already whooped on a Rizzi in the fan leagues. And so, like – we don't. I don't need to see that again. That doesn't need yeah, to happen. But if it happen, that is one that I would actually come to not for fun. That one I would come to to whoop on. Obliterate a movie. Uh, movie nerd because I will f- refuse to put the the on top of it. No. So uh, that, that'll be fun no matter what. But no, this was Absolutely. a great match. Um, I had a lot of fun. Thank you, Caleb. You're you're a pal. This was a good time. Absolutely, yeah. And either way, I expect that semifinal match to be uh, very competitive. But, uh, Brooklyn, your closing thoughts on today's match? Uh, this match just proves that even if you have the best case Ontario of getting hero's choice and then you're a, you're, you're part of getting villain's choice, uh, that doesn't, doesn't always work out. Uh, mm-hmm. And that there is more to this than, uh, than just questions. Absolutely, yeah. So, uh, from everybody here at Full Metal Geek, I want to thank you for watching. Do all that stuff you're supposed to do at the end of a YouTube video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. From our competitors, Tim and Caleb, from Cody the Manager, from my co-host, Brooklyn, and from myself, thank you very much, and we'll see you next week as we continue round two of the tournament here in Full Metal Geek. Drive safely.